First of all, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Vicki. I am your Get Set Up guide. Uh, if we have any new folks to get set up, <clears throat> hello, welcome, glad you could join us today. As I said, I'm here in San Jose, California. I think it's gonna be raining today, which is fabulous because we desperately need, we need rain. Um, at any rate, um, I, I love it when folks not only join us in the live studio, but um, it's fun when we can turn on our cameras because then we can see each other. And I always love you know that. Um, what are we gonna talk about today? So uh, I just wanna make sure that folks are comfortable knowing the basics of how to navigate your Zoom controls. How do you activate, turn your microphone on and off? How do you turn your camera on and off? How do we use the chat feature? Uh, talk a little bit about some of the participant controls you have access to. Um, I'll talk a little bit about the Zoom etiquette tips. And uh, then we're also going to talk about how you use something called reactions. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And I just wanna make sure that everybody, um, it looks like most of us have turned our cameras on, which is great. Um, some of us may be on different devices today. So I'll walk you through where you can find your Zoom control bar. So for those of you who are working on a PC today, whether that's a laptop, a desktop, a MacBook, what you'll need to do is go down to the bottom of your Zoom window. You may need to jiggle that mouse a little bit. And when you do that, your Zoom control bar is displayed at the bottom of your Zoom window. For anyone who is working on a tablet today, what you'll be doing is tapping on the top of your tablet screen and that displays your Zoom control bar. And for anybody who is working on a smartphone today, uh, you'll be tapping on the bottom of your phone screen and that displays your Zoom control bar. Hi, Suzanne, great to see you. <laughs> um, and so that's where you'll find your Zoom control bar either you know, on a PC at the bottom of your screen, you know, sort of wiggling that mouse on a tablet, tapping on the top of your screen, or if you're on a smartphone, tapping at the bottom of your phone screen. So uh, let's make sure you know, we all have this camera thing down. Uh, the most important, one of the most important things is to turn your camera on and off, get used to doing that. So on your Zoom control bar, whether it's at the top of your screen, at the bottom of your Zoom window, uh, you will see an icon and it looks like a video camera. So it will, uh, if your camera is currently turned on, meaning if you look at the screen and you can see your, yourself on the screen, that means your camera is turned on. And to turn your camera off, you just need to tap or click on the stop video icon. And then you'll see that it switches to start video. And then when you tap on the star, or click on the start video icon, it will then turn your camera on. And so that's important to know how to turn your camera on and off. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that when you attend Get Set Up classes, you're going to join the class, join the meeting with your cameras turned off. We do that for you know, security reasons. Not everybody wants to put their camera on. And so it's up to you to tap or click on the start video icon uh, to turn your camera on. And let me know if anybody's having any problems or any questions about that. Stop me if you get stuck. Uh, remember, this is a beginner class. We're doing all of this together. So that's turning your camera on and off. And I think we've pretty much gotten this down. The next thing I want to talk about is muting and unmuting. And I think most of us have this too. But on your Zoom control bar, whether it's at the top of your screen, at the bottom of your 
uh, your Zoom uh, window, you will see on the far left of the Zoom control bar, there is an icon. It looks like it has a microphone on it. And when your, uh, your microphone is muted, that mute button, or it will say unmute, it'll have a big red slash going through it. And that's how you know that you are, um, you're muted. Another way that you can tell if your microphone is muted is when you're looking at the screen and your little video screen there on the lower left-hand corner of your video display screen, you'll see your name, that's called your display name. And then you'll also see a red microphone icon with a slash going through it. So if you see that, it means that your microphone, you're muted. So just another visual cue for you. And then of course, to unmute yourself, all you need to do is tap or click on the unmute icon on your control bar, and that will unmute your microphone. You can ask your question, make a comment, and so on. So those are two very important controls <laughs> to know how to use when you're in a Zoom meeting. And again, if you have any questions, just stop me and ask if you're having problems finding any of the icons. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about, uh, I call this the Zoom etiquette tips section of our class. So there are two tips that uh, I wanna cover. The first one has to do with our microphone. So when you join a Zoom meeting, and I'm not talking about if you're on a meeting with friends or family, that's something completely different. Uh, if you join, I guess, a more formal type of a meeting like this, a you know, Get Set Up class, uh, it's a good practice to mute your microphone once you've joined the meeting. And, and you know, once it really gets started, you know, as soon as you join, if you want to be talking to people, that's fine. But once we get started, it's always a good practice to mute your microphone. And that's because, you know, these microphones have gotten very, very sophisticated and they're very sensitive and they will pick up all kinds of background noise. And so out of consideration, for your fellow Zoomers, your, your fellow you know, students, it's always a good idea to mute your microphone when you're not speaking. So that's Zoom etiquette tip number one. The second tip has to do with our cameras. So uh, it may be from time to time, you just need to get up and just walk away for a moment. You don't need to actually leave the meeting you just need to answer the door or somebody comes in and they're talking to you. A good practice, if you need to get up and walk away, is to stop your video. Tap or click on the stop video icon just to turn your camera off. Again, it's just, it can be really distracting. So for example, if I'm just sort of moving around over here, you can see that other people just, you know, get really distracted. And so in that case, just tap or click on stop video, walk away, do whatever you need to, come back. And when you are ready to turn your camera back on again, you just tap or click on the start video icon on your Zoom control bar and you're good to go. And so those are my two etiquette tips. And as you start using Zoom more and more, especially if you take more uh, get set up classes, you'll see um, other participants doing this as well.